Good morning. Welcome to the Voice of Revival Broadcast Network. This is Isaac Gabriel Gutierrez. I just wanted to come on here early in the morning. Six o'clock a.m. is usually the time that I come and I have my prayer time with the Lord. But last night something happened that that prompt this program, that prompt this live broadcast. We're going to be doing a whole lot more live broadcasts. But this really got into my spirit. And uh, this is, was the word. I was trying to go to sleep. Maybe it was about 10, 11 o'clock. And all of a sudden, felt like the attack was coming to my body. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord said, get up and start praying. Start interceding. There are people that are being tormented in the night. People are either being tormented in their spirit. People that are being tormented in their bodies. They're going through symptoms. They're going through things and and then something began to, uh, I began to understand this. God began to wake me up to see that there is a spiritual warfare going on in people's bodies. And, and this whole coronavirus and sickness and infirmities, there are a lot of Christians that are weak. There are a lot of Christians that are spiritually have their, they have a spirit, spiritual immune systems are down. And the reason why our spiritual immune systems are down is because we are not praying. We are not interceding for each other. And I also believe that there are pastors and leaders that are very weak, not only in their, 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 uh, spiritual, their spiritual body, but also their physical body. And I know what I'm talking about. As a minister of Jesus Christ, I've seen these things when the Spirit of the Lord begins to prompt us to begin to share and tell people that these things are, are, are becoming even more and more. And we need to stand up and we need to fight the good fight of faith. I don't know who's on here right now. I don't know who's watching. But this is the first time that I'm doing these live early morning in the early in the morning and I wanted to come and share this with you because I believe it's very important I believe it's very important that we uh, really begin to understand what we're dealing with here and what the scripture says I believe that we've gotten uh, because of everything shut downs in the pandemic and all that the church is really shut down and we need to get back to prayer. We need to get back to early morning intercession. I believe that this is the time that we need to seek the Lord in this time of intercession. And before we begin, I want to bring and go into prayer. So let's pray. Father God, I just thank you right now for those who are watching, for those who are on this broadcast. I have no idea who may be watching or who may be listening. But Father, I believe that they're gonna receive a miracle this morning. I'm believing for he healings in people's bodies. I'm believing for a spiritual revival. This is what this is all about. Bringing revival, Father, to those who need a spiritual revival. Father, spiritual revival begins with us. Your scripture says, if my people. You're talking to us, Lord. The world needs answers, Lord. The world needs hope. The world needs uh, changes father and we have the answers that the world needs so father I'm believing that the word of God's going to go forth that healings and miracles are going to take place and that a spirit of prayer is going to be released through this broadcast father I'm believing for people to be strengthened I'm believing for people to be healed and I'm believing father for the word of the Lord to go forth out of the valley out of the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, Father. Lord, your word is going to go forth. And this is the beginning of many, many, many broadcasts. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I don't know who's watching right now. But I believe we have one, uh, somebody watching right now. Let's see who, who it is. But it's okay. Welcome to the Voice of Revival. I just wanted to come on, you come here this morning and share with you some of the things that the Lord was putting in my spirit. How important it is as the church to begin to pray. As a minister, as a leader, as a pastor, as an evangelist, as a revivalist, I believe that we have a great responsibility and that is to begin to pray, to seek the face of God, 
to begin to declare the things that, that are not as though they are. This got to stop. This spiritual attack that's going on. I believe it's almost like uh, Jeremiah Johnson was talking about that this coronavirus, this COVID-19 is like a is like a Philistine spirit and it's trying to destroy and overcome us. And if we give in to the fear, we give in to a lot of the media that's talking, then we forget how to really get the answers and to really get the answers is to go into warfare, spiritual warfare and the word of God. The word of God says that Jesus went around doing good, healing all those that were oppressed of the devil, healing those that were sick and in, in, in infirmities, those that had a virus, those that were sick in their body. But we become afraid to pray. We become afraid to go to people's houses and pray for the sick. But it's time to change that. It's time for a revolution. It's time for revival, my friends. The world is in need of revival. The only hope that America has is revival. To return to the Lord. To begin to seek the Lord in prayer. To begin to call upon the name of the Lord in this hour, in this day. I know it's early in the morning. But this, it's going to become to where we need to get up early in the morning. And even in the midnight hour to begin to pray, to begin to bring the word of God, to begin to bring broadcasts that declare the word of God with power and authority. I don't know who's watching right now. I want you to get a see if someone can get a hold of this broadcast and share it. Because I believe that someone on here needs a healing in their body. That's, that the doctors have given up hope. That they said that you may be COVID-19 positive or you might have the virus or some kind of sickness. But my Bible says that he sent forth, his, he sent forth the word and he healed them. And last night, the spirit of the Lord began to say, pray for people that are weak. Pray for people that are not praying. Pray for people that are spiritually have immunity right now. They have a spiritual immune system down. When our spiritual immune system's down, we cannot fight. And he said, begin to fight for those who are weak. Begin to fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. And he took me to the word of God. And I want you to go with me to the word of God in uh, Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 through 8. Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 through 8. I feel the spirit of the Lord on this program. Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 through 8. I believe it's time that we... The, the reason why the voice of revival was created was to broadcast the gospel of the kingdom to the ends of the earth. We're going to start off by doing this broadcast, but this is just the beginning. Matthew chapter 10, verse 7 through 8 says... Let me start with verse 5. He says, this, These twelve Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, Do not go to the way of the Gentiles, and do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out out demons I believe that the scripture says go and preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand the kingdom of heaven is released when signs and miracles and wonders take place when they we heal the sick cleanse the lepers those who have there's a spirit of sickness a spirit of infirmity that's trying to overtake the body of Christ. Let me get some water here. This spirit of infirmity is trying to take over the body of Christ. And we need to fight and pray and cast this sickness and cast this infirmity into this spirit. This is what it is. It's a spirit of infirmity back to where it came from. And we need to stand up and pray in the spirit 
and begin to declare that these things are leaving. There's somebody that's going to be watching this video that you're sick right now. And all you need to do is say, Lord, heal me. I received your word this morning. I received the, 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 the word that's being spoken, that it's time for our spiritual immune systems to be built up. Luke chapter 9, verse 1 through 12. Luke chapter 9, verse 1 through 12. This is Jesus again. They're sending out his 12 disciples. He said, and he gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Something began to shake in me when I began to... Uh, uh, understand the scriptures. Jesus said, don't be stuck behind your doors. Be out there. This is a perfect opportunity. Yes, there's a crisis, but there's also the opportunity. This is the time for the body of Christ to shine. This is the time for the body of Christ to rise up to this occasion. Yes, you might not even uh, understand what's going on, but I can tell you this that it's time for the body of Christ to rise up in this day and this hour. And as we're declaring the word of God, the power of the Holy Spirit is going to touch you. The fire of the Holy Spirit is going to touch you. And you're not going to be the same. You're going to be changed and transformed. This is what this ministry is about. Bringing hope, bringing restoration, bringing revival who is revival? Revival is Jesus Christ returning back to our first love, returning back to the power of prayer, returning back to the power of repentance. Return to the Lord. It's the time. It's the hour to return to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, my friends, I want you to know something. The Lord loves you. And there are those that are sick right now in their bodies. And we believe that as if we pray and as you're watching this program, as you're watching this live broadcast, the spirit of the Lord is touching you. There's somebody right now that's been having tormenting spirits in the night. You can't sleep. There's somebody also that has uh, some kind of symptoms that continue to keep bothering them every night. And they're wrestling and fighting with sickness and I'm telling you right now that God is healing you. God is restoring you. God is making you new. And we're going to pray right now as we declare the word of God over you. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. And you're going to fight this thing. But you're not alone. The Lord said, begin to pray for those who can't pray for themselves. That are not strong in their spirit. And begin to declare the word of the Lord. This is just the beginning of more words. There's prophetic words that are going to be released. There's, there's signs and wonders that are going to take place. I don't believe even after the rebroadcast that someone is going to be touched by this program. It's time to operate in the miraculous. It's time to operate in the miraculous. Acts chapter 1. Verse 8. Acts chapter 1. Verse 8. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, And you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon, has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Here's what we need to do. We need to start broadcasting the word of the Lord. We need to start broad broadcasting prayers, intercession, and healing. A lot of us are broadcasting our own messages. And we need to start broadcasting what the people need to hear, not what they just want to hear. Preachers need to start preaching the word of God as we're able to do this live. Because there's going to come a time when it's going to be censored. There's going to come a time when it's going to be taken off the air and we're going to have to create our own platforms. I'm going to come back and talk about that. That's what needs to take place. I don't know how long we've been going on this program. We've only been going for a few minutes. 
But I do believe that the Spirit of the Lord is rising up in somebody right now. And somebody's going to get on this program. And they're going to know that they've been healed by the power of God. It's time to be bold. It's time to rise up, people of God. Ministers, preachers, evangelists. We need to start doing these live programs, but we also need to start praying for open doors to go because people need a place so they can be healed by the power and the resurrection of God. It's time that we are overcomers. We're going to spiritual warfare right now. We're going to warfare right now. And I believe there's someone, there's someone right now that you're dealing with weakness in your body. You're dealing with headaches. There's somebody also that's been dealing with fire that's been shutting through their body. They don't understand what's going on. There's somebody that's also have been having demonic attacks in the night. Demonic attacks in the night and they can't sleep. But we're about to pray right now. We're about to release the healing power of God and the anointing that breaks the yoke. As I was reading the scriptures, it's telling us to go preach the gospel. Preach the good news. The good news is salvation, but the gospel of the kingdom is where the breakthroughs happen. The keys of the kingdom are prayer, healing, supernatural signs and wonders. The world's going to see a difference when they see people get healed of diseases and infirmities. Coronavirus has no power over the authority and the kingdom of God. It must bow. It must bow in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now that we release the spirit, the spirit of the, of the anointing that breaks the yoke. I release the breakthrough anointing through this, through this program, through this show. I believe that your word says that you sent your word and you healed them. There is someone that is watching this in the hospital. There's somebody that's watching this right now in the confines of their bed. There's somebody that's watching this right now in the place. We don't know where they're at, but I believe, Father, right now, we declare miracle work and power in their body right now. We cast out the spirit of infirmity. We cast out the spirit of sickness and disease and say, go in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that the word of God is going forth in power and the anointing in Jesus' name. Father, release healing over the Rio Grande Valley. Release healing over Dallas, Texas. Release healing over the United States of America. And Lord, we're coming also in this ministry in Spanish. In the nombre de Jesús, declaramos sanidad y lo que está viendo este, este, este programa, Señor. Tú dices en tu palabra que tenemos la poder, el Espíritu Santo, para cenar los enfermos. Señor, gracias por tu presencia que está en esta mañana, Señor. Declaramos, Señor, de tu poder está sanando los, que, los, los enfermos en los hospitales. Los, fer, los enfermos que están, Señor, declarando, yo quiero mi milagro. I want my miracle. I receive my miracle. I receive the anointing that breaks the yoke. Father, right now, raise up your remnant. Raise up your church. Raise up your people. Father, thank you, Lord. There's somebody right now that is receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit as we're praying. There's somebody also that's being healed of migraines. There's someone also being healed in their spiritual body. There is no more sickness in your body. The Lord Jesus Christ has come 
and his word is healing you. There's also a word of the Lord that it is time to begin to broadcast prayer and intercession on these programs. Revival is here, my friends. We must proclaim it. We must declare it. We must speak the word of God. It is time for a breakthrough. Oh, Father, we just release the spirit and an anointing upon your people, Father. If you touch your screen and receive the word of the Lord, healing is taking place right now in your body. There's some that have not been able to sleep for days. And even as you try to sleep, there's torment. There's things that are attacking your body. And I say, no more. Be gone in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Oh, shit. It is time for us to open up our ministries and heal the sick. It is time to preach the word of God. It is time to go out into the streets and publicly declare the word of the Lord. It is time for the church to stop being silent. It is time for the church to stop being quiet and get up and fight. Contend and declare the word of the Lord like you've never declared the word of the Lord before. Oh, shut up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's begin to go into prayer. Let's begin to seek the Lord. I declare the healing power of God is coming upon you right now. He is healing your body. He is healing your mind. He is healing everything that is going through. You're saying, Lord, raise me up. Raise me up, Lord. I declare the word of the Lord shall bring you out, shall deliver you and set you free. He sent his word. He sent the song of the Lord. He sent the word of the Lord and he healed them. Miracles are happening. If you're on this broadcast right now, or if there's somebody that is listening, I don't, I believe after we re repeat this again, that someone is going to be touched and we're not stopping. We're going to keep doing these. We're going to keep doing these. And I know that there's more coming. I'm believing for a broadcast network to begin to prophesy, to begin to bring podcasts, to begin to declare the word of the Lord, to begin to prophesy out of the valley of voices rising out of the valley the word of the Lord is coming forth. Arise, Rio Grande Valley. It is time for a great awakening in the land. There is hope, America. There is hope, people. And it's time and it starts with you. It starts with you. Now shall come forth miracles, signs, and wonders. Satan, we command you in the name of Jesus to leave in the out of people's homes out of their bodies and out of their minds in Jesus name we will not stand still but we will fight the good fight of faith and I declare that this morning that this word that has gone forth is touching you in Jesus name thank you for being on this program, this broadcast with me. And I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is here and miracles are going to take place. It is time to operate in the miraculous. It is time to take the gospel to the streets. It is time to do whatever we can to tell the people of God that he's still in the miracle working, that he's still in the miracle working business, that he, our God is alive and that he is still a miracle worker. 
He's a way maker, a miracle worker, light in the darkness. My God, that's who you are. Oh, Father, thank you. We're coming back with many more broadcasts. The word of the Lord is going to go forth. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to speak your word this morning. I thank you for the opportunity of more things to come in Jesus' name. Speak forth your word that signs and wonders may happen, Father. Shake this place with your glory and your presence. May your people never be the same again. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. In Jesus' name, I call it done. Continue to keep... If you want to find out more about the Voice of Revival Network, you can listen to our podcast, which you can find out more about here on Facebook. We're also going to be coming with our live program soon. And we're also going to be coming with brand new videos that are pointing people to Christ and the awakening to come. Don't miss what God is doing. Share this with somebody. Share this with a pastor. Share this with a leader. Share this with a loved one. And I pray that the Spirit of the Lord is touching their body right now. As He has touched us, I believe that people are getting miracles and healings right now. Just receive it. Lift up your hands right now. Lift up your hands and receive the word of the Lord. You are an overcomer. You're going to be a voice of revival for your generation. Don't hesitate. If God has called you to do the same, begin to record. If he's put a word in your spirit, don't hesitate. I've been waiting for a long time. And the Lord says, what are you waiting for? Were you waiting for more equipment? Are you waiting for to get a broadcast studio? No, just do it and watch me move. Lord bless you. You can find out more at the Voice of Revival Network on YouTube, our Facebook, and also our Instagram. We're also going to be coming with our first brand new network and website very soon. Stay tuned. We love you. God bless you. We hope that this has been something that you need to hear and something that you can grab on and say, yes, Lord, I receive it this morning. Amen. God bless you.